Baldy has had enough. Does that mean that he's gonna quit? Hello everybody, I'm Kyle Keen and welcome back to Baldy, except Baldy has had enough. What's going on, Baldy? Why, why are you looking so mad? Also, does he have his like his, his fingers crossed like that? that? That's ominous. You finally given up the teacher lifestyle? You had enough? You're moving on? What's the story here? It's been a year since you left Baldy's schoolhouse and Baldy has not let go of anything. You decided to go back to the school and check what's up with the others. Stuff has changed since you've left. Principal and arts and crafters ran away from the school for a reason. Um, what? A reason, huh? I, I don't know what that means. But apparently this is the sequel to First Prize and Baldi Had Enough, which I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure we played that one. And now we're gonna find out what happened after we left. Well, find out for yourself. Okay, you don't have to be so smarmy about it. What did he say? I have plans? Okay, then go carry them out, Baldi. Either way, let's play. Oh gosh, I hate that. Rude. You're just gonna turn your back on me, huh, Baldi? Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> um, oh dear. Uh, what have you been up to since we left, Baldi? I guess punching doors. Or perhaps taking a chainsaw to them. Please tell me you don't have a chainsaw. All right, let's um, let's do some math, I guess. No signal. Even the You Can Think pad has not survived the anger of Baldi. That's kind of crazy, but I can still answer math problems. Wow, just so despondent. Wow, you did math, wow. You got a quarter for me? He doesn't even give me a quarter. Fine, fine, that's fine. I didn't want a quarter anyways. A plus four is a 12, one. Glad to know that, that despite Baldi's apathy and anger and all these extremely negative emotions, he still has it in him to ask impossible questions. So there's that. Oh, don't love the sound of that. Okay, are you, okay, yeah, you're here. Of course, oh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> the grabby hands and the little, the little head tilt. I, oh, um, all right. Baldy is freaking me out. I also, am, am I hearing like some creepy background noises? It sounds like almost like a, a washing machine is just running. It's going through its last little spin cycle. What is this? Old? What? Old WD-40? <laughs> is that what I just picked up? What good is that gonna do me? All right, I don't like the head tilt, Baldy. I don't like that. It sounds like he's snapping his neck every time he does it. You gotta sweep is not the same as he used to be. Let's grab our first notebook. Also, playtime, playing some real depressing music. What is that? It's awful. It's really bad, Playtime. You, you need to just chill or something. She's gonna get me, right? Yep, okay, we're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no! And Baldi is right around the corner, man. Okay, there's, there's a giant cake. That's, oh gosh. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 keep going, keep going. Okay, all right, this fine. I guess this is the party that I'm not invited to. So there's that, oh, oh, first prize, okay, okay. Whoa, got a sweep is, uh, is a little hyped up. Wait, was that principal? I thought, I thought they said that principal left. Everyone gets detention, I quit. It's a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie, but here we are, continuing to trudge through this nightmare. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with broken scissors? I will use them if playtime comes after me. First prize, I think he's missing half of his head. 
I think he was definitely missing, like he had, I, I couldn't see it all the way because it all happened so quickly, but I'm pretty sure I saw wire sticking out of the top of my dude's head. That seems bad, you know, like in robot terms, basically his, his brain is gone. And he's kind of acting like he's he's losing it. Oh gosh, no! I'm so dead. I, the the neck cracking of doom. Okay, what happened? What happened? Why? Oh gosh. Okay, we're just gonna go for a little ride. I did grab a rotten bar along the way, so that's you know a thing that happened. I don't love this. Oh, I really don't love this. What, what am I supposed to do here? No, 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 no. Don't take me back. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm in a lot of trouble. I think it's it's safe to say. I, don't eat rotten bars. No, no, no. Ah. Okay, a few noteworthy things. First prize is an absolute maniac. He has no brain and no control. Rotten candy bars, not good for you. The thing took all my stamina away. That's incredibly messed up, Baldi. Why are you leaving rotting candy bars around this school? I guess he doesn't care. All right, so this is really difficult, mostly because of first prize, I feel like. Once he kind of starts going after you, there, there's really no way to get out of his grasp. He's, he's too fast. <laughs> Why would I ever eat a rotten candy bar? Uh, two rotten candy bars. That's super good. Oh, oh dear me. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, got a sweep. Also a little crazy. He's kind of lost it just a little bit. Just a smidge. Also, all of the items are just crumpled up pieces of paper that don't indicate what they actually are. Not very helpful. Oh no. All right, Baldi is right behind us. Baldi says, you can't hide from me. Ha ha. Yes, very funny, Baldi. Dude, Baldi, and pretty much everybody else in the school has lost it. They've been locked in here for far too long. I think that's what we're realizing. Oh no, God of Sweep is doing his thing again. Oh boy, um. I'm out of stam, and Baldi's just cracking his neck over and over right towards me. The noises that Gotta Sweep makes are very upsetting. Oh no! Oh, saved? Actually saved? Thank you, thank you, Gotta Sweep. You you kind of saved my life there. I I don't know how, but you did manage to get me out of a, a, a bit of a jam. Oh, it's Bully. Hey, Bully, you want this rotten candy bar? This is a confused bully. D I, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess, man. I don't know. I'm hoping that I can get something kind of helpful here. I so desperately need Stam. I got more old WD-40. That's cool, I guess. How many notebooks is that? Is that five? I don't even know which ones I still need to get. Wait, no, actually I do. Yeah, okay, so we need the one on the far hallway, which is very doable. And then, oh no, this is gonna mess things up for us. And then we need the one that is kind of close to the start. Oh gosh, okay, thank you for stopping. That was actually super nice of you, dude. Baldi's gonna catch up to me. He's neck cracking way too fast now. Wait, he's going the other way? Okay, we might have a chance here to grab this one, which is very nice. Let's grab this crumpled up piece of paper. Okay, it's a broken lock. Probably not the most helpful thing I could have found at this point. Get out of here, playtime. Okay, broken scissors still work. That is fantastic news. You're still gonna follow me, huh? All right. No, get out of here. Okay, we're approaching the final notebook. The question is, can I get it before Baldi gets me? Oh, no, it's not Baldi that I need to worry about this time. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, gosh. All right, you know what? We'll use first prize 
to to get out of this jam here? Am I gonna get out of this jam? No, I'm gonna get pushed right into Baldy. Why? I'm so mad. Oh, oh, it's it's gonna crash. We got the Twinkie of Doom. All right, let's give this another chance. I don't know. This is really hard. And like I said, mostly because of first prize. That dude's a nut job. He has no robot brain. And everybody knows that you need a robot brain to be a normal robot. That's the science. It's a very sciencey thing to say. I really wish there was B-Soda though. Maybe if we get a quarter, we can go to a vending machine and then in the vending machine, we can get something good. Is this gonna be a rotten candy bar? No. Okay, you know what? That's actually super interesting. That means that the items are random. They're not always the same thing. It's not a shiny quarter. I like this. Get a crazy item. <laughs> rotten candy bar, you are actually the worst. I love this though. I, okay. We get random items, which means that maybe there is some good in this world. <laughs> if you can get the right items at the right times, you might be able to get through this terrible situation. It is asking a lot. So Baldi's about to get distracted by the clock that we placed, which is good. That's four notebooks. I mean, rotten soda. Oh gosh. Okay. So, so now we have a soda. I'm, I'm gonna jump. I could use my scissors, but I feel like we're far enough away from Baldi that we can kind of survive this terrible situation, maybe? Oh gosh, there's some bad noises happening and I do not like it. I'm gonna try and use the strategy that I use a lot of times with Baldi's Basics, where I run down this hallway and then I use a B soda when he gets close to me to shoot him all the way to the other side of the hallway. Here's the problem with this plan. I don't actually know what this rotten soda does and if it fires in my face i'm gonna be kind of upset like just a little bit hear me out though maybe i don't actually need to use it yet we did get to the next notebook in this hallway without using it i don't even know where baldy is right now which could be a good thing or a really bad thing wait i hear him okay i know where he is now <sighs> just do it Okay, it works. It actually works the way that I was hoping it would. Holy cow. We can make this happen. I, okay, I, I used the scissors on, on first prize and it, it saved us from a world of pain. No! Why? I gotta get to the last notebook. Okay, take my quarter. No, 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 no. Why? I'm dead. He's he's right there. He's right there. Okay, get the last notebook. Maybe we can get out of this jam. I doubt it. But you're saying there's a chance. The final notebook is mine. I hate this. You know what, Baldy? I've had enough too. See you again, probably. I was going to say see you never, but let's be honest. We'll probably see you again.